Taurus, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot and this is your reading for the week ahead. As always, if anything I say resonates, please let me know by liking and subscribing or if you feel it will resonate in the future because obviously it's for the week ahead and it's not happened yet. Um, let's get on with your reading, Taurus. You've got the fool. For some reason, this has caught me off guard, so... There's something that's going to catch you off guard this week, and it's a new beginning in some way. It's a new journey. It's taking a leap of faith. Maybe somebody's going to take a leap of faith towards you, but there's something that's going to happen that's going to surprise you because it's going to lead you on a whole new path, but you're not expecting it. And it's a very different energy to what I was feeling before I started shuffling. It's... Page of Wands. This could be about traveling. This could be about, I don't know why I was going to say time traveling. That's weird. Um, this could be about traveling. It could be about a person. There's clarity coming in. There's messages coming in. There's also a firm foundation building. And I feel like this is between you and someone with you also. So if it's a new friend or a new relationship, but it's starting on like solid terms because you've got the Four of Wands. And it's like starting things off the right way. And if you're already in a relationship, it's moving to the next step. So if you already know your person, you're going to be like, let's say you're in a relationship, you're going to be getting engaged. If they say you're engaged, you're going to get married. It's like next step, next step in a nice pace. It's weird because as I said, in a nice pace, I also feel like this could be quite quick in pace. <laughs> Um, but to you, it's still steady. It's not too quick. What else is going on? What's happening for you, Taurus? Eight of Swords. Two of Pentacles. Magician. You have two ways you could go about things, Taurus. You could stay stuck in your head and stuck where you are. Or you could manifest new... And I feel like this is going to be a repeating pattern this week. You're going to have situations where you go, hmm, how do I deal with this? Do I sit and cry about it? Or do I get on with it and create better? There's something. And I don't think that's not to say it's going to be a bad week for you. It's just to say there's things where you can take them one way or you can take them the other. And you're going to choose the higher path, especially with the magician. I feel like others in your situation would stay trapped and stuck and like, poor me, poor me. Whereas you're going, hmm, been there, done that. That didn't help me. Let's change things up a bit with this two of pentacles. Let's do things different. Let's manifest better. Let's break this cycle. Let's have better. King of Swords. You're very smart. You're very smart. Or there's someone, or there's someone coming towards you that's very smart. But I feel like you are very smart either way. Um, Justice, the star. Whoa. Some type of thing you're manifesting with the magician here underneath and the star and justice. It's the way things are supposed to be. I just feel like there's a wish fulfillment that you have wanted for a very long time that's coming in and it's balancing out everything for you in your life that felt off. Something felt off and this week it's going to be put back on. Weird thing to say. Page of Pentacles though is an offer. So there's an offer, a stable offer. This seems like somebody might even have an idea. Someone younger than you or just that has a younger energy than you has an idea. Really pay attention. Don't like, just because they're younger or just because they seem like they're not as smart, pay attention because there's something smart about this. There's something smart in the air about taking this. Or this is even, some of you are getting engaged because this is my proposal card, like someone holding up a ring. You also have justice, which is marriage, and you also have the four of wands, which is also engagement. So some of you are definitely getting engaged very, very soon. Um, and it's like a light at the end of the tunnel, which is funny because you have the star and you have the ten of swords. So there's a lot, there's a lot of good stuff coming in. Ooh. Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Your work is also being revitalized in some way. There's a new passion. There's a new excitement. I don't know why I just got things are moving up a gear. So I don't know if you work with cars or something, but things are getting better. Things are moving up a gear. Things are going smoother. 
it's almost like you might be anticipating things are going to get harder because you're moving up another level, but they're actually going to get easier as you go. And you also have someone by your side in love, I feel, as things start to upgrade and progress in your work and career. Um, so if you're currently single, there's someone coming in as your work starts to level up. It's all happening together. Seven of Swords, the Empress, and the Strength card. Ooh, Taurus. Don't hide your strength, firstly. you got strength, but then you've got, like, you looking at it and running away. So you can be as strong as you want to be this week. And I feel like you're going to, you might feel tempted to run away um, in some sense. Like, oh, I've been strong all year. It's funny, we're in, like, the first two weeks of the year. But it's like there's something where you're a bit tired of being the strong one. And you're like, oh, I might just want to hide for a bit. And then you're going to carry on being strong anyway. I feel like you might say to your friend, actually, it's coming in. I see you saying to a friend or a family member, oh, I don't know if I have what it takes. Or I don't know if I can keep this up much longer. Like, mm, and I don't know what it's about. It could be about some, like, I feel like this could be about persistence in some sense of a goal. Like, say you said you're going to do gym. Like, it might even be like a New Year's resolution. You said you're going to start gymming. You're like, oh, I don't think I can keep this up much longer. Um, say it was whatever it is that you said you were going to do. There's something where you're telling a friend about it. Like, oh, I don't think it's going to work. But then you go and do it anyway. Like, I just see you going and go, like grabbing your keys, getting in your car and going somewhere. Like, I don't think I can keep doing this. Oh, well, I'm going to try anyway. Um, and that's kind of like the repeated energy. Every time you go, oh, I don't think I can keep, go keep going. Well, anyways, bye. I'm going to go and keep going anyway. So it's like your words aren't matching what you're doing. So basically, I want to say change your wording because it will make everything easier, because Tara's advice, and the advice being given right now is, words have power, and if you're telling yourself, I can't do this, I can't do this, but carrying on doing it, it's just making it harder, because you could just be saying, I can do this, I can do this, I'm going to carry on doing this, even though I'm tired, I'm going to carry on doing this, I have the energy, I can find it, I'm going to carry on doing this, because you're going to carry on doing it anyway, so at least boost yourself up, instead of tearing yourself down, saying you can't, with the Empress as well, I feel like you are where you want to be. And I feel like you might need to give yourself some more credit for that. Because, I don't know, it's almost like you're trying to grow and grow and grow and grow. And you're like already the Empress. What else is going on for you, Taurus? Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Seven of Cups, The Lovers. Oh. You have lots of people around um, that are interested in you in love and that are interested in being around you. Because of you being the empress, you're attracting a lot of energies to you. Weird thing is, everybody's looking down. Um, like, I'm just noticing, this is a really weird thing to say maybe, but like, look, she's looking at the pentacle in her lap. She's looking down past that cup. And in the strength card here, she's looking down looking down, looking down, all these cards are looking down, so I don't know if you keep looking at your feet when you're walking, or you keep looking downwards, there's something where, stop doing that, if that's you, whatever this is about this week, you might just see, like, stop looking down and look up, maybe it's about just looking up, and maybe that's about also you going, I don't think I can do this much longer, and you thinking about that, going, I don't think I can do this much longer, just look up and go, I can, I can, maybe it's just about looking at things from a different perspective this week, because... You're going to do it anyway. So it's like just have a lighter hearted energy. Like you're in a, con in a monologue. Really, really, really has a massive impact on your life. And to begin with, you might be lying to yourself saying, I can do this. I've got energy. I can keep this up. I can do this. I can do this. It's going to feel like a lie until it doesn't. So just keep saying that instead of looking down and going, I can't. Words do manifest, basically, is what I'm trying to say. The devil coming out, again, there's something that you're breaking a cycle that was going to repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat, but you're breaking it. You're breaking it with the devil. I feel like you're running away from it. You're like, nope, not going to fall into that trap. Nope. It's like a power here in awareness. Awareness in where your head's at, awareness in where your thoughts are, awareness even in what you're looking at. Because I keep saying about you looking down. Be aware of what you're looking at this week, because I just feel as if... Look up. 
basically. Four of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. You're also walking away from people that are gossipers. Um, or very tight. Like, they're very tight. Like, they wouldn't help you out or something. But you would help them out if they were in a pickle. But they wouldn't help you out. There's something where you're detaching from someone that wouldn't help you out if they... Even if you really needed it. It's kind of strange. What is this? Two of Cups now coming out. Ace of Pentacles. Again, that's my proposal. Eight of Cups. You might walk away from something that's offered to you. by Like, somebody's going to offer you something. Like, engagement or something. There's some type of thing that's being offered to you in some way. Friendship. Something that's going to be offered. Or, you're going to walk away from one thing. Maybe. You're walking away from being a little bit stubborn into accepting an offer. But like in your head, you're like, nope, not going to happen, not going to happen. Maybe that's what you're telling your friend or family about. It's not going to happen, it's not going to happen. And then you walk out and do it anyway. Because there's a new cycle beginning. This is strange. I really feel like that's the energy. There's a stubborn energy within you going, nope, it's not going to happen. Can't do it, can't do it. And then you go and do it. You accept an offer, you accept an apology, you accept something you never thought you'd accept. Because it's meant to be. And as you're doing it, you might even be speaking. I feel like you're going to say, it's alright, I forgive you, or it's alright, I'll take it. And if you're watching this going, I don't forgive them, it's not the person that you're thinking I'm talking about. Because this is a positive thing, it's something where, well, like I say, you're not even expecting yourself to say it. But the words are just going to fall out of your mouth. You'll be like, yep, yeah, okay, I get it, I understand, it's fine, I get it. Um, I don't know, and if it's an offer or a proposal, you're like, yeah, and then you go, oh my god, did I just accept that? There's something, there's something that you're going to say yes to, you're not expecting yourself to. Um, anyways, I'm going to wrap your reading up here, thank you so much for watching, if anything I said resonated, or you feel it will, because obviously it's not happened yet, please let me know by liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next Tuesday for Tiny Twitter Tarot Tuesdays.